The purpose of this demo is to showcase the progress we have made with Payroll 2.0. Please note that this information is subject to change since development is still in progress. In this demo, we will be highlighting the new features in Payroll Setup. We're going to start by reviewing the changes made in Options. Payroll Options is located under the Setup menu and includes a series of options that allow you to select features most appropriate for your business. We now have six tabs, Main, Additional, Time Off, Entry, Direct Deposit, and History. Similar options have been grouped together and placed on the appropriate tab. The term Time Off will now be used for all features that were previously called Benefits. The tab name and all options on the screen have been renamed to use the new terminology. The change from Benefits to Time Off will be carried throughout payroll and descriptions you define here will flow through into other locations where time off is used. Previously, you could only change the description for the third type. Now, all three time off descriptions can be changed. The Reset Time Off option has been enhanced to enable you to reset time off hours based on the employee's anniversary date. The previous option that allowed you to print the data entry audit report in detail has been removed from payroll options and will now be an option on the report. The option to reactivate terminated or inactive employees during data entry has also been removed and has been added as a security event in role maintenance. Data is now stored by year and by month. Therefore, you will no longer be required to close the current period or year in order to process payroll in a new period or year. The previous options to retain check history and perpetual history have been combined into one option and you will now be required to retain at least four years of history. You will also be required to retain four years of e-filing check history. Earnings Code Maintenance allows you to establish separate codes for each earnings type. You can specify calculation methods, general ledger expense accounts, and tax information for each earnings code. The earnings code has increased to six characters, and you can now enter a 30-character description. The time off descriptions defined in payroll options are carried forward to each earnings code. Two new options have been added. The ability to include year-to-date earnings in box 14 on the W-2 forms, and the option to exclude hours for this earnings code from the ACH applicable large employer report. The previous federal, state, and local tax options have been removed and a new tax rule option has been added. The tax rule along with the state and location code determine the federal, state, and local taxes that should be applied to each earnings code. Deduction Code Maintenance allows you to establish separate codes for voluntary payroll deductions along with calculation methods for each deduction. The deduction code has increased to six characters and you can now enter a 30 character description. A new option has been added allowing you to include year-to-date earnings in box 12 or 14 on the W-2 form. If you select box 12, you will need to choose the code that applies to this deduction. The previous federal, state, and local tax options have been removed and a new tax rule option has been added for pension plan and cafeteria plan deductions. The tax rule along with the state and location code determine the federal, state, and local taxes that should be applied to reduce taxable income. Time Off Maintenance, previously called Benefit Schedule Maintenance, allows you to establish and maintain codes to identify time off accrual methods, limits, and carryover allowances for all three time off types. Notice that the time off descriptions that we defined in payroll options have been carried forward. Memo Manager Maintenance has been added for Payroll 2.0 and now includes memos for payroll data entry in addition to the employee memos that were available in the previous version. This concludes the demo for payroll setup. Thank you for watching.